Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning to you. And how are you doing this morning? I got my coffee. And um, I want to start this morning by uh, telling you that a few things uh, are changing. Uh, they, a few things continue to change. Uh, for instance, today we're not in the wide screen. Today, uh, the idea is to be a little closer, a little more intimate, and to have the lighting a little less looking like it's uh, supernova going off in my face. Uh, let's hope that's the case. The thing is, is I don't know what this looks like, or I won't know what this looks like until I go in to edit it. There's got to be a better way. Um, but I, I am trying to, uh, to maintain a little bit of experimentation um, with these videos because I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep myself loose. I'm trying to keep myself uh, open and down for whatever crazy ideas pop into my head. This, uh, doing these videos every day is a little outside of my comfort zone. I'm not really too cool with this. Um, but at the same time, I know I'm getting a lot out of it. So I'm going to try and, uh, and allow myself the, uh, freedom to experiment because you never know what I may decide to do later on. <sighs> I'm sleepy, man. I'm sleepy. I took a melatonin last night. And, like, my jaw doesn't even want to. It's like, can't you talk without me? So, hi. Wide awake. Um, I wanted to... Whew, I almost spilled my coffee. It is really hot, which is why I almost spilled it. Um, I wanted to talk today a little bit about the economy. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm hearing a lot more about the economy in the news, and so I thought this might be a good opportunity, being a Wednesday, uh, being kind of the doldrums of the week, like, goddamn, where's the fucking weekend? Uh, and when is everybody going to go back to work? They're annoying me. Um, not Vicky, everybody else. Uh, so you hear a lot more about the economy and about... Uh, well, you know, Trump wanting to open everything up, but he's wanted to since before this happened. Um, but you hear a lot now from uh, Governor Cuomo and Governor Newsom um, and how they are building the pacts between the uh, Western and the Eastern, the, the Northeastern states. And uh, I hope wherever you live that your, your governor, your elected officials, somebody is taking good care of you. Uh, I feel like um, living in California that uh, we, uh, we, we, what can I tell you? We did it right. You know, we, we elected a liberal um, governor and a liberal uh, uh, state house and um, they take good care of us, man. That's why you don't elect Republican assholes because they will fuck you. Now, of course, you may be into that. I, I wouldn't want to ruin your good time. Are you having a good time? Um, but uh, they're talking about um, opening up the economies again. And and I I got to say I'm kind of for that idea, but but safely, right? The uh, <clears throat> World Health Organization, which which Trump has now uh, said that the United States is not going to help fund any longer because why not? We're the assholes of the world. Um, they've put out a six point plan for reopening the economy safely in the midst of a pandemic. And these six points are all you know wonderful ideas such as being able to trace and being able to test but we can't even test here in the United States. And my wife and I had a conversation about this last night, and I told her that what I thought was, um, and granted, this is based only on 54 years of life. I could be wrong. 
But my guess is the United States is going to blunder through like we do everything else. We're not going to do it right. The United States has never done anything right. Um, so we're going to blunder through and we're going to reopen everything and people are going to get sick and, you know, deaths are going to spike and we're going to close down again and then we're going to open up again. And this will happen at least a couple times. I pretty much, I'm pretty much sure just because that's how we normally do things. I mean, that's how, you know, <laughs> I, I, I hate to be the guy to tell you, but think about how earthquake safe you are and then tell me if you live in California or how tornado safe or hurricane safe. We don't prepare, we don't plan, we don't do any of these things, we're Americans. And there's plenty of us to go around and die for the disease that we're too lazy to take care of. So uh, pretty soon we'll be able to start returning to grocery stores. That'll be nice. Vicki and I had groceries delivered yesterday. And um, Vicki ordered them and, and she did an amazing job of ordering everything that we like so we will be well taken care of and happy here locked down in our home until next week when I will start walking again because I'm starting to lose it uh so she ordered every single solitary thing you can imagine and they came and delivered yesterday about half of those things the things Vicky liked none of my things were in stock so they brought this, these bags of groceries and every single thing I was like, is that, no, that's not for me. Is that, no, that's not for me. Vicki and I have kind of different diets. Uh, hers is Asian and mine is junk food. So. Well, it's April 15th. I'm one month away from uh, my PCT start date. I'm beginning to suspect I won't be on the PCT this year. I, I keep hoping that uh, things will start to open up a little bit and uh, I can at least, before the end of June, uh, make the scissors crossing to Warner Springs stretch. Um, it's a, it's a, what, about a 30 mile stretch, 34, give or take. Um, so it's a nice two day hike. I did it, um, sorry, three day hike. I did it in two days and it is not a nice two day hike. It's a crazy two day hike. But I would love to get up there before it gets so hot that I can't hike. It's a, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful stretch. It's, it's foreboding. It's, it's intimidating. It's, well, it's frightening to be honest with you. Uh, if I may just muse about that stretch of, of the hike, as I sit here and can't remember what the fuck it was I was going to talk to you about. Um, you start out that stretch, you leave highway, was it 79, the highway from Julian? You leave that and uh, you walk on flat ground for about a minute. <laughs> and then you get up to the ridge and, and it's just up the whole day. And it's these long switchbacks and they're really, really long. So they're not really, really steep because they don't have to be because they're really long. So you find yourself walking in a straight line back and forth on this on the side of this ridge, looking down at it, looking down at this great expanse of empty flat land between this ridge and the one that's over on the other side of the highway. And at a certain point, when you get up to the top of the ridge, you go over. And you go over into what looks like a little bowl uh, in the in the earth, 
uh, where the tops of the hills kind of come together and it's, you know, rolling up there. And uh, you go down into this little bowl. And then before you can even get there, you can see where the trail's going and you can see that the trail goes down to the bowl and then up and you're climbing again and climb and climb and climb. And, and it, it's hot up there. The ridge at Scissors Crossing gets a lot of sun, totally exposed, no shade. So before you even get to the third gate water cache, uh, it's, it's hot and intimidating. And you think, how am I gonna even make it there? And then you make it there and third gate water cache is big. It's a big area. There's a lot of room. And my plan was just to make it third gate water cache. It's, I think it's 14 miles, make it there camp for the night. It's a great place to meet people. Uh, I met a couple hikers when I was there last. Uh, but it's just a, just a wonderful spot. There's shade, there's water, uh, everything you need if you're backpacking. Um, so so you, you head down to, to Third Gate Water Cache and, and then from that point, you're just hiking on the tops. You're you're going up to the top ridge down and then up and you're just kind of moving up and around the tops of these hills as you uh, as you make this turn. Uh, and I did all of this in the dark, just so you know. Uh, I hiked at night during this section, so I didn't get to see very much of it, except as as contrasted by the night sky. So when I was on these ridges, uh, hiking at the tops of these ridges, I couldn't see down, I couldn't see the ground. Uh, and those ridges are narrow and it's very easy to hurt yourself. And I'm incredibly klutzy. How I made it uh, down from the Scissors Crossing Ridge, uh, I, I couldn't begin to tell you. But I did, and I and I started. You start descending, and the descent. The descent off of that ridge or down from that ridge is long. It's rolling. And. Uh, it's just so so damn pretty. Because you're overlooking so much beauty. Uh, so it's the best. It's it's the best hill. Uh, to come down from because you're coming down uh, in the well I came down in the morning so you want to do it in the morning uh, when it's not already hot so you get a little shade you get a little coolness you get a little breeze you get the sun it's a uh, it's a nice recipe and you start to get as you as you descend you start to get into the oaks so there's more shade and then you, then you get down to barrel springs which is another really nice big place, lots of water some of the time. Uh, it's, um, I wish, I, wish uh, I had done a three day when I hiked through there because it would have been a good place to camp. And had I gone this year, that was the plan. But I didn't. Now the hike from Barrel Springs to to um, Eagle Rock and then to Warner Springs is is really pretty. It's really pretty. You want to do it when it's not too hot again because it is desert. But um, if you if you get there when when there's rainfall, there's a little creek that uh, that um, there's a little past Barrel Springs, and of course there's the blue there's the wildflower blooms and the cows and the hillside. There's so much to see there. It's so beautiful. And when, when, when I have these days where I am just kind of sick and tired of these walls, I like to think about that stretch. That was my longest stretch on the PCT so far. Um, and the worst thing about this is this was my year to, to really show that I've gotten better and can do a better job at this. 
and now that's not going to happen. And you know I'm not going to go uh, next year. Next year on the PCT is, first of all, it's going to be hell. Everybody in the world is going to want to go. Second of all, if COVID's still around, and if we don't have testing yet, um, I mean mass testing, like everybody tested, you're not going to want to go out on a trail and be with a whole lot of strangers, right? So my plan for hiking now uh, is to wait until next year and hit the Oregon Coast Trail and hike that uh, next September, uh, August, September, or October. Probably August or September. October would probably be too cold. But yeah, this year I was going to start at, uh, I was going to start from Lake Marina because I've done Campo to Lake Marina and uh, I wanted to see something new, you know, start where I'd left off. And you know, that's another one uh, as far as the economy goes. I don't know what's going to happen next year as far as through hiking if the economy really tanks and every reputable source is saying that the resulting recession, the recession that results from COVID is going to be the worst since the Great Depression. Um, I haven't seen people go right out and say, well, go from recession to depression, which are two very different things. Uh, but um, you never know, right? I mean, this is all new ground for all of us. So there may be a, a, a great drop off of people who hike the trail next year. If international travel, for instance, isn't quite a thing. If it's just Americans or if people aren't flying in from the East Coast and it's just West Coasters or just California people. If that's the case, well, well then, that would make it quite interesting. Because then the PCT would be a lot fewer than 50 people a day. Might be kind of nice. Now, I'm certainly not saying that everybody should stay in their own home uh, through next year. Uh, but hiking your local trail while, while we keep the PCT <laughs> to those of us in the uh, Western Pact uh, might not be a bad idea. <laughs> God damn it, I really want to hike this trail. And I'm not going to next year if, if everybody is out and about because every year it gets harder to get a pass to get a permit on that trail. Every year. And so barring any great economic turmoil, next year is going to be a real bitch. So we'll see. And um, I just hope to be out hiking again soon and not at Chino Hills, which is my, what I call my gym. It's my exercise ground because it's, um, there's not much to it. Uh, it's big, but it's, there, there's, there's nothing there you go to see because it's so beautiful, right? It's a big, barren, empty place uh, that makes for really good exercise. But it's not where you go to see anything beautiful, right? Uh, uh, it's not San Jacinto. Um, it's certainly not San Gregonio. It's certainly not uh, Wrightwood. Uh, all places I would love to go and hike. God damn it. Anyway, there are all kinds of things that have been taken from all of us. And I hope that um, whatever has been taken from you because of this is not too great a burden uh, to bear because I've lost hiking. People have lost family members, right? Got to keep it in perspective. I hope you get out and about and, do, and get to do your thing real soon. And I hope I get out and about and able to do my thing real soon. I know that today I uh, I didn't have my my topics all together and I was kind of meandery. And what can I tell you? I think the longer I'm doing this, 
I think we're going to see a lot more of that. I think on a daily basis, as nothing is happening, uh, it's going to get harder and harder to find things to talk about. Harder and harder. Excuse me. Uh, to find things to talk about, and I appreciate you hanging out with me while I bumble my way through this. So have a great day, and I will be back tomorrow to wrap up my fourth week doing this. That's kind of crazy. Um, I think I may have to change the format a little bit. Once I'm back out walking, uh, that'll make it easier. I can go and I can show you things, right? But I uh, got to get out of these four walls soon. Soon. You're a baboon. Have a good day. Be good to yourself. Be kind to others. Let's make this world a beautiful place. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. And there you have it. You've just survived another Ken LaSalle video. For more information about new releases, projects in the works, or even stuff from the archives, head on down to KenLaSalle.com. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and all around social media. Just as long as it's called Facebook or Twitter. Thanks for your support, as always. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, and I'll be back soon with more nonsense.